Oh shit. Hey, guess what I'm also? He's pretty not angry. Ooh, hey. <gasps> oh, an elf I'm also. Oh god. Oh god. It's ready for a trap. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Trevi here again, we're back here on ARCs for all Vaults, guys. It's been a while. It's been a very long time since I've actually done a decent ARC video. There's been a lot of changes. I've had, been going to play on official a lot more, and I've also been, um, I also created a new cluster, guys. So if you guys have noticed, a long while ago, I used to host at least four, five different servers, um, five different ARC servers. Well, exactly over with the, with the whole pandemic going on, um, I kind of really got... Really, I wasn't able to really maintain the servers at the time, and they slowly, and while the player pop slowly decreased, and I eventually had stopped hosting them ent uh, entirely. So, but now guys, the population started to regrow again, everything started to come back to back to normal, and now we finally started a brand new cluster, and I started out with two servers for now, um, one rag that I'm on right now, and an extinction, so I hope, uh... And right now, um, me and my tribe right here, we're going to be going out and we're going to be going to some tame, some Moses. Um, I hope you guys like the in ARC intro too, because I had that was um, explaining how to join in the servers, guys. So, and we also have a Facebook group also. So, if any of you guys want to join the ARC servers, definitely feel free to. It's always a fun time. The servers are going to be a little bit different here. Now, on my old servers, I used to have PvE servers. I used to have servers that had ORP on there. Well, this one gets a little bit different. There's never going to be ORP on these servers. Only There's only going to be structure resistance when we increase slightly during the weekdays so it makes it harder for people to raid offline during the weekdays instead of the weekends the main focus of this video guys i'm going to show you guys what's uh i'm going to show you guys some of the new fun stuff on the art servers some new things and some new items that i've actually shown in the one video over there in the very arc intro and i'll show you guys what i mean and we're also going to go and tame some mozas we had built an underwater base and i'm going to be going to tame some mozas i'm not however though i'm not going to be showing my locations exactly where all my stuff is because again, it's PvP. There's no, there's no admin. There's admin logging, so there's no cheating. There's absolutely no cheating whatsoever, guys. There's never has been cheating on my servers. But again, I'm a normal PvP player. I'm by myself, or I'm with my tribe and we were playing PvP normally. And I don't want to give off my locations, my bases, just quite yet, just because again, it's PvP. People might just come and try to attack anyway. Goodness. So first things first, we're going to start building some more. Uh, we need to go build the most trap. Before we get into that, let's go check out the spaceship. Well guys, so in the video, and if you guys have seen the very beginning of my arc intro there, it has a show around a spaceship. This is basically a spaceship quote unquote. It's basically what it is guys, it's a hover skiff that you can actually make. It's from Genesis, um, you can actually make it on my servers, all of tech engrams, everything, all the engrams are unlocked, so you can pretty much make anything at any given time. Um, that's going you know, get normal resources. But anyway, though, um, so it, what I did was I modified it a little bit so I could actually put auto turrets on it, and now it's literally like Star Wars, and I can run around playing with the spaceship. Um, however, though, the only downside of it is uh, it doesn't have that much health, and uh, so it's, it's not really a crazy OP. It's pretty fast, but again, it can get shot down pretty easily, so it's not like it. That's what that's what nerfs it down a little bit right there by having such low health, and you can't add the health, you can't add any certain weight to it, um, so you can't level it up or anything like that, so it's. So it's not too crazy OP, but it is the fastest thing in the game, quite literally, faster than any dino, as you guys can see, and I'm going to show you guys some of that. Um, it can also do have some other abilities too, and this is a good way of taming also, guys. I'll show you a new fun way of taming. It's a very good way to get the survival to start. Um, yeah, so if my turns don't shoot stuff... Oh. And, and, and. This is very difficult. This is very difficult. Uh, I got turned off. The, I got turned off the turrets, guys. <laughs> okay, now that the turret, now that the turrets are off for a few seconds, now they're not killing everything in sight. All right, so I want to show you guys. This is a very good way of taming. You can basically tractor beam. It's like literally Star Wars. Oh, sh shoot! Random tree. 
So you can basically tractor beam these things, and this paramecium is like the most difficult paramecium I've ever had to tame. You can grab it and literally grab this thing right out of the sky, like so. Now, a cool way of taming guys is you can actually do this. You can hop off. You can hop off the back of this. You know, if you had another text tool like me, you have text text for easy. I'm not sure. Um, you can actually have uh, uh, a trank rifle. And you can actually shoot underneath it. However, though, I don't have a trank rifle. I only got a shotgun. So um, we're gonna have to do this. But however, though, you can actually tame dinos that way, and they'll fall right out of the sky. And you can actually tame them. Crazy. Um, they can pick up everything up to a Rex, besides the only thing they can't pick up, Mana Garmers, Gigas, and Titans. You can't pick them up. Other than that, there's everything else. I haven't tried Rock Golems yet, though, so don't come in. Alright guys, well, welcome to the underwater base. So, we built this recently, and, uh, yeah, again, I'm not sure on location. But, this is the underwater base, so we plan on building a whole bunch of, well, expanding a little bit more. It's obviously a little cramped right now, but, um, right now it's looking pretty good. We have our basic stuff down here. Um, this is like one of our best defenses down here, and uh, yeah, we're gonna actually go over and uh, hopefully get some meg to Mosos. Right now, I'm gonna go grab the Megalodons. We're also gonna be taking another spaceship. Well, and to show you guys, um, well, the spaceship over here, is, this is another spaceship. This one's specifically just for taming and uh, for carrying around purposes. So, as you can see, this is, the, this is the new fastest thing in the game, pretty much. Faster than anything else you can think of. Oh my god, guys. It's a miracle. It's like level 36. Are you kidding me? Well, we finally found a Moza. All right, let's go over to spawn. Okay, I built this trap. The, I forgot to get the damn ceilings. No, oh, people. This is how. This is how people lose their sanity. We at least know where to go. Um, we at least have a basic setup trap, guys. We had to run back to base because I forgot the ceilings. I forgot. So we finally got the trap built. I'm really hoping and praying that this trap is big enough. All right, so that's level 36 Moses that we saw earlier, guys. We're gonna go we're just gonna test out the trap. It's only level 36. It ain't gonna be very scary. It ain't gonna be a very big deal. Jeez, it's right there. Okay. Well, there's our little Moses friend. It's only level 36. Pretty weak. Ouch. Will you quit texting me? Right in front of the Moses. Make it follow. You're gonna go like this in front of it, swim up really fast, and then swim down like this, swim straight down. And but it's going, but it's going for you. Oh, oh god. Okay. All right. Hold on a minute. We might get it. Oh, okay. And it's in. So there you go. At least the trap is big enough for the Moza. Take it easy with this harpoon launcher because this is a max crafted harpoon launcher. It should take down this Moza pretty easily. There's a lot of things about it that's like a Giga, but. When you tame it, you have to- Oh, don't, don't shoot it. Okay. We knocked out our first Moza, guys. And my character decided to do a, a Halo jump. Instant tame on the server, guys. I mean, it will work perfectly fine. Come on, little buddy. There we go. Oh, and there we go. Okay. So, again, base stats are pretty terrible. Okay, though. A good test run. So now, we gotta go find the real things. This is about five hours later. I should about maybe six to seven hours later. So after work guys, as you can see around me, uh, you probably can't see around me actually, but around me is like, it's dark time, it's like pitch black at night time, it's, it's past like midnight right now. Um, yeah, but we got back into, I finally got back in this, um, and I got the Moza that we got from earlier, leveled the model up, I got a good saddle for him, um, he's got around 30k health and only 193 melee, and I'm going thousand weight, so he's mainly just for trying to swim around guys i think i found a couple i found a little mozo but he was only at 132 so i'm gonna kill this guy and go look for some more oh shit i think it's for the mozo he's pretty not angry 
God, it's right next to our trap. Holy crap, there's an alpha moza right next to our trap. Oh my god. Pull for you. Okay, you're a 120. You're a 120. Oh, she's packing a punch. She is packing a punch. That scared the absolute crap up. Where'd he go? That woke me up. That 220 moza though. I don't think we'll be able to take an alpha moza right now. This thing will, this thing will kill us. This mose ain't gonna die anytime soon. Come on now. Yes. Wow. Oh great. Well, I nearly died because my character magically almost lost stamina. So just keep an eye out for the alpha. That's something we gotta watch out for now. That most is not happy. He's down. Okay. Oh, so much more health. Look at that health. 20,000 something health. Yes. The 26,000 health and 416 melee. So much better than my other Moza. And then we're going to kill that stupid Alpha Moza. That, that's going to be our last time we're killing the Alpha Moza for the video. Um, Yudar already knows a big difference in damage. Oh, yeah. 395. Now oh, that's already decent damage. That's, that's just base damage. Oh yeah, nearly a thousand melee. Okay, so this thing should pack a punch. Slow our damage now. 873 per bite. Now that's a Moza. There he is, the old Alpha. 920 damage compared to the pitiful 183, and he's already run away. He knows. He knows what's about now. He knows what's about. Now he's got a natural challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed the video though guys i will be doing here i will be doing some more arc videos and more underwater taming and stuff because we have built an underwater base so we've been trying to actually make it a lot more secure so video guys i'm gonna try to go tame some squids with our lovely new moza here i'll have to heal him back up with the snow owl back up in there because he only had 25,000 at 71,000 health so that's uh that's always really fun if you have you have xbox or windows 10 pc guys Feel free to check out my servers. Um, I only got two servers up right now, and that's Rag and Extinction, guys. Thank you guys so much for all support, guys. It's been awesome. Um, I, even though I'm, I have not posted a little bit, my channel has been slowly growing, guys. So I really do appreciate it. And anybody, anybody out there that's playing my Ark servers and are coming back into them, I thank you guys so much for all the support for coming back in here and checking it out. Even though um, our my old servers have been deleted basically by Nitrado a long time ago, um, they are now forever gone. So these are all completely brand new servers, guys. But I also have a Facebook group for my actual channel itself, and I also have a Facebook group for my actual server. So I'll both their links down in the description down below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you guys later.